Hello there, this is SwiftGet. This video is all about how to install and set up Flutter for app development on a Mac machine, MacBook, iMac, whatever you call as it is. The minimum system requirement is latest version of macOS, let it be a Moshe, High Sierra, or Catalina. Try it to be the latest version. And more, and more important, set minimum 8 to 10 GB or above. We do have to install Xcode and Android Studio if you have not yet. Let's head over to it. First of all, I have to go to the URL which is having flutter.dev talks get started install. Here you can find uh, the installation process and all these things. And uh, here you can select the operating system on which you're installing Flutter. So I do have the Windows, Mac OS, Linux. So I'm using here Mac OS. So I, I will be selecting this. I need to mention that if you are based in China, you need to read this using Flutter in China because school services are blocked out there. They do have a different service provided. So check it out that. So I'm clicking here Mac OS. And uh, here you can find the Mac OS install which is having the system requirement, all these stuffs. Here, you may find it uh, very complicated by if you're seeing for the first time, but it doesn't, it's uh, very simple. We will try to make this video very simple and we will follow each and every step one by one. So, um, here, you can find here the get a Flutter SDK. So, I'm going to uh, click here this file, which is having the zip, which is a zip file. So, this is a installation bundle to get the latest stable release of Flutter SDK. So I'm clicking here and I'm going to download this in my MacBook. Let it go some time uh, to install this. All right. I have finished uh, downloading the Flutter zip file so I can find here inside my downloads. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, copy this folder to somewhere which uh, makes me stable or you can find uh, inside your Macintosh users you can make a folder over there and uh, you can place this folder inside that or else what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a folder separately for Flutter so I'm going to name it as uh, Flutter developer and uh, I have created a folder so I'm going to place that uh, Flutter folder inside this my Flutter developer folder. So I'm going back to the download file and uh, click that Flutter folder and command C which is for copy and I'm going back to this iOS projects which I'm having the Flutter developer folder which I created and what I'm going to do is press Alt command V which is for cut paste. Alt command V that's it simple so inside that you can find here some stuffs like uh, developer examples all these things we will come back to this and uh, let's uh, try first uh, command space which is for spotlight search I'm searching for my terminal open it when you open the terminal you can find here like uh, MacBook which is of username and uh, like so and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type here Wim dot bash underscore profile you see something weird doesn't matter new file alright so I'm going to what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to this uh, Safari which is having the Mac installation process all these things so inside this I can find here CD development uh, unzip the folder all these things and we can also do some uh, things like uh, we can go to flutter.git and all these things extract the desired location for example so what what we are going to do next is uh, we're going to do all these clone process come inside our terminal all right from this point what you need to do is uh, inside this terminal you need to press i so i means you can uh, edit this file if you didn't press i you won't be able to edit anything inside this terminal so i pressed i and here 
what I'm going to do is uh, I need to come over here and uh, search for the path which is for export path near to the semicolon I am copying those and uh, I'm going back to here and paste it which means uh, I need the path to set over here which is of dollar path and the path after this will be the folder which I save the flutter developer so I'm just dragging it over here and then what I need to do is I'm going to I'm going to go here slash flutter slash bin and uh, I'm closing this as well so what exactly it does is uh, inside the flutter we have a flutter folder and uh, inside the flutter folder we do have a bin folder so that's what we're going to refer here though so after doing this what you need to do next is you need to press escape in your key uh, keyboard so if I press and uh, let's place the folder over here put a semicolon W Q and so that it will save and exit what that's what it does plus Android so here we go you can see here vim bash underscore profile and uh, I'm going to close this terminal and I'm going to reopen this terminal again so what if uh, some in some cases uh, if I try to run flutter space version it works so here I have here this look flutter I have the version 1.2.0 channel all these things and I have the flutter tools as dot 2.9.2 and uh, I can even check for flutter and doctor if I enter flutter doctor and press enter it goes through all the stuffs which we do have so flutter installation is complete at the moment and in some cases you may find that uh, command flutter not found in those cases I will show another method as well which means uh, if you if you find the error like command not found what you need to do is I'm closing this terminal and going back again to this uh, terminal and uh, I'm going to type here if you're getting the error something like uh, flutter command not found then another way to do is open the terminal and uh, I'm, I'm going to do here what is uh, instead of uh, bash profile I'm going to here use vim home dot uh, is that shrc and I'm pressing enter which means uh, it's already exist and uh, what I'm going to do is delete that one so here I have here look export path 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 which means that after the semicolon I have given here the path of, to the flutter dot bin and uh, instead here you can find what is I have removed the double quotes so inside the flutter you can find here the double quotes which uh, at the end and uh, before the dollar so I have removed the double quotes from this position and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just copying it and uh, press I and uh, here I'm going to type it again all which is uh, you can press I which, which is meant for uh, edit and I'm pasting it again what I'm going to do next is I'm going to click escape and uh, come over here and uh, press semicolon WQ and this press enter here we go that's it simple and I'm going to close this terminal again and uh, I'm going to open this again and now I'm checking whether it's working or not if you worked for the first time that it's okay and if you didn't just go through this step all right try this one so if I press flutter version enter it works and also for flutter uh, doctor I press enter that's also it works simple and easy procedure if you ha I already said if you have worked for the first time then it's okay otherwise follow the second step in the terminal remove the double quotes that's it all right So far, we have done with the uh, Flutter SDK installation and uh, path settings, all those stuffs. 
So now next what we have to do is as you can see inside my terminal it's showing that flutter channel have been initiated and uh, it's uh, unable to lock it and road SDK. Uh, so it's asking that uh, here I have a tick mark which is showing that Xcode developed for iOS and macOS which means I do already have my Xcode in my MacBook that's why it's showing a tick mark over here and I don't have the Android Studio and I didn't connect any device that's why it's showing exclamation mark. So the next part what you need to do is uh, you need to set up the Xcode and uh, Android Studio inside our if you haven't installed the Xcode and if you haven't installed the Android Studio you just need to download that and we need to set up the initial process and uh, from at this point uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the IO simulator inside this you can find here IO setup install Xcode if you haven't installed Xcode you can just install that and uh, open up uh, the IO simulator I'm just copying this uh, open a simulator and uh, typing in my terminal and press enter it opened a term simulator for me at the moment and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a run a simple flutter app so I'm going to create a new flutter app for myself create my app press enter with that and uh, it will be creating a app for me Hold on. Actually, I have created it already. That's why it's showing that recreating. Otherwise, it will be showing that create project. All right. And then what you need to do is you need to set a directory for that. So I have here CD my app directory. I'm just uh, copying this uh, CD space. You can uh, type your directory wherever you like and just pressing enter and at last it's uh, flutter to launch the simulator with a sample uh, flutter app and copying this flutter run and uh, pasting it over my terminal and press enter let's see what it does it's launching a main dot dart with the iPhone AC in debug mode It may take some time up to load up. It's compiling the linking and signing for me. Running in the Xcode build. Yeah, here we go. I have here the Flutter app, and uh, again here a sample. This is a Flutter demo homepage. There is a plus button as well. If we click, if we click on that one, it, the number will be going up. So that's all. We have created a simple iOS Flutter app from Flutter installation after all the setup. So that's going to be in the next part of the uh, video and in the next episode what we will try to do is we'll try to make a app with uh, for with flutter which we will create a flutter app and we will try to run either in xcode or android studio with a simulator so that's all in this part i hope uh, this video helped you and if you haven't subscribed yet i don't come to subscribe it for upcoming flutter videos that's all thank you for watching this video